Well, I'm delighted to be here and join all of you. I'm sorry we were a little late. The snows and blowing winds of Topeka kept us going a little slower, but I'm thrilled to uh, be here and thrilled to welcome Senator Barack Obama back to Kansas and back to El Dorado, back to home territory. I'm especially pleased to be here to announce my enthusiastic endorsement for Senator Obama for President of the United States. Now this is not accidental. <laughs> Barack Obama has Midwestern values, values that we know about, and he got them from his grandparents and from his mom. He understands how to bring people together across party lines. He understands how to give people hope for the future. He understands the value of education, the transformational value of education. He doesn't just talk about it, he lives it. He thinks it, he breathes it. He will lead with those values. He knows about not just working for the individual good, but working for the common good. Those are the kinds of values we believe in here in the heartland and the kinds of values we want to see in Washington in our next president. Now, as you all know, this is a great crowd here today, and I'm thrilled to see you. But a week from today is a Kansas caucus. And we don't want you just to show up today. We want you to show up next Tuesday at the Kansas caucus. For those of you who live right here, for the students of this great community college, the Civic Center here in El Dorado is where the caucus will be. That's where you show up at 6 p.m. next Tuesday. For the rest of you, Go to your senatorial district and find your caucuses. Go online and find your caucuses. 6 p.m. next week. Those of you in the room need to go and make sure you don't only applaud for Senator Obama today, but you caucus for him in a week. That's what this is about. And while the senator is traveling across this country, 22 states are going to choose uh, help to choose the nominee next Tuesday, and we're involved in choosing the Democratic nominee. What this really is about is choosing the next American leader. It's not about who our party supports, it's who our people support, who can be elected the next President of the United States. And I think right now we are with the next President of the United States. Now, I know, Senator, you, you know that we have great legislators here, great leadership of your campaign here, great friends here. Um, I got to tell you on a very personal note, I'm here because my two sons have been driving me crazy. <laughs> now, they come to support for Senator Obama through two different pathways. I have a son in law school very political, he worked on the Kerry campaign, he, is send, he sends me 10 emails a day, he wears me out even from a thousand miles away. <laughs> he comes to this campaign and his enthusiastic support for Senator Obama because of his policies, because he thinks he's a brilliant leader, because he can bring people together. My younger son, as I told you before, Senator, comes to his support for Senator Obama through Michelle. He says anybody who could get Michelle Obama to marry him has to have something going for him. Now they both end up in the same place, but they come there through a different pathway. So my life at home is gonna be a whole lot easier after today. But I think that my sons represent 
the new generation of Americans who are rising up, mobilizing to support this candidacy. I have worried in my 20 years of elected office about the disengagement, the uninvolvement of younger people, of voting in smaller numbers, feeling that they did not have a leader who inspired them, feeling that it didn't make a difference if they were involved or not. A very different pathway than I had in the 60s when we were engaged and involved. I've worried about what it means for our democracy if our young people check out. This campaign, your presidency, is transforming that younger generation in America. They are mobilized, they are engaged, they are here. That's not only good for campaign, but it's good for our country. It's important. This country is yours, take it. Yesterday, Senator Obama received an historic endorsement from Senator Ted Kennedy at American University. Senator Kennedy made it clear that the torch is being passed to a new generation of leadership. And the entire speech was eloquent, but what caught my eye was the following quote. He said, what counts in our leadership is not the length of years in Washington, but the reach of our vision, the strength of our beliefs, and that rare quality of mind and spirit that can call forth the best in our country and our people. And that is Barack Obama. So, Senator, today is an important day in Kansas. Today is Kansas Day. This is the day our state came into the Union 147 years ago. This is the day we celebrate Kansas as the birthplace of people who believed enough in individual freedom that they fought for it, and some of them even died for it, a state where Folks still believe in the kind of common sense values that you bring to light, the kind of leadership that you display day in and day out. Our state motto is, to the stars through difficulty. This is a difficult political journey. As you say, your life has been an interesting and sometimes difficult journey. But it's so appropriate that you're here, back in Kansas on Kansas Day, and we have a chance to be with the next great president of the United States, Barack Obama.